Hi, I'm Skiz Sizik. I'm the former programming manager for this festival. I'm still on the screening committee, and uh, this year I'm, I have a double role as one of the filmmakers. I made, uh, co-directed the documentary Hit and Stay. Hit and Stay is a feature-length documentary uh, starting with the Baltimore Four and the Catonsville Nine and tracing the impact that those two actions had on uh, draft board protests, uh, draft board actions protesting the Vietnam War all over the country. Uh, our, our first first Baltimore screening was last night. It was packed. Uh, we were in the big big theater at the Charles, and uh, you know I, I've worked at this festival for years, and I I know that it's really hard to fill that theater. So I was really just amazed, surprised that that many people showed up. Got a standing ovation and had a really great discussion afterwards. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> The, the, all the years I was working here, I never thought it was ethical to program my own films, uh, so I just didn't. And then uh, after I stepped down from my position in 2009, I made a, a co-directed a documentary called Freaks in Love about the band Alice Donut, and that showed here two years ago, uh, 2011. And, uh, and now I'm back two years later with Hit and Stay. All my films, I'm finishing them in the reverse order that I started them. So <laughs> Freaks in Love I made quickly over the course of two years, and... Uh, hit and stay. It's been six years. I've got a, one I'm finishing up right now called Ice Pick to the Moon that I started in 99. So yeah, I'm going to finish them all in the reverse order I started. Ice Pick to the Moon is, a, it'll be another feature length documentary. Um, it's about an obscure musician from Alabama uh, by the name of Reverend Fred Lane. He describes himself as a strip mine crooner. Uh, he fronts a, a, a big band that sounds like it's made up of some really talented people who are all forced to play instruments they're not familiar with. And uh, I always say they're like comedy albums where the joke is going over the heads of everybody, including the people that made them.